this uh, is the chest x-ray taken in erect position you can see three very obvious abnormalities in this chest x-ray number one right hemidiaphragm is significantly raised this is left hemidiaphragm and right hemidiaphragm should be somewhere here it is significantly raised in this patient number two right claustrophenic angle is not clearly visible uh, and is blunt this is left claustrophenic angle and is very clearly nicely visible here but the right one is blunt which raises the possibility of a small pleural effusion in this area which is more likely but also it can be small adelectasis which is collapse of lung tissue number three notice there is an air density just below right hemidiaphragm and also there's a sharp horizontal flat line air density on the right hemidiaphragm is never normal you normally see air in stomach or in colon here but air density on the right hemidiaphragm is never normal because this space should be occupied by liver notice right hemidiaphragm although raised but is clearly visible which means whatever it is whatever it is it is outside lung now horizontal uh, flat line as we know um, represents an air fluid level which means uh, there is an area or cavity that has both fluid and air in it below this line is fluid and above is air the patient is standing fluid falls below towards the gravity and air raises up making a flat horizontal line so what uh, could be the possible reasons that can raise a diaphragm up well raised diaphragm can be caused by a number of conditions which includes atelectasis means collapse of lung but a small atelectasis would not uh, raise a diaphragm to that extent certain infections can cause a loss of lung volume for example tuberculosis and diaphragm will be raised in such cases as well enlarged liver is another reason which is also known as hepatomegaly in medical language uh, can also push the diaphragm up so if the liver is enlarged it will push the diaphragm up as well paralysis of diaphragm is another reason that i can remember and if the diaphragm is paralyzed uh, the uh, on x-ray you'll see a raised diaphragm subphrenic abscesses abscess means pus in common language and it will also push the diaphragm up areas below uh, diaphragms are known as subphrenic areas on right it is the space between liver and right hemidiaphragm and on the left it is the space between uh, left hemidiaphragm and colon subphrenic abscesses will also push the liver downward although we can clearly and definitely say that uh, right hemidiaphragm is raised and there is um, a big air fluid level under right hemidiaphragm right claustrophenic angle is blunt which raises the possibility of a small diffusion or atelectasis but we cannot make a certain diagnosis further investigations like ct scan or x-ray or ultrasound are required x-ray abdomen on the same patient taken in supine position means uh, x-ray was taken when the patient was lying down again shows an air density over liver you should never see air in this area normally you can often see air in colon and uh, on this patient this colon is pushed downward so I would also like to show you a normal x-ray of the abdomen so this is uh, another uh, abdominal x-ray on some other patient you can see air in transverse colon this is hepatic flexure this is splenic flexure of the colon right claustrophenic angle of right lung is visible here but liver which is this is clear of any air density that's how it should be versus on this patient there is a big air density projecting over a liver area right uh, upper quadrant 
this uh, patient also had an ultrasound done and was diagnosed with right subphrenic abscess which was caused by appendicitis WBC count uh, means white blood count on this patient were also raised I would like to explain other causes of subphrenic abscesses blunt trauma to abdomen can lead to abdominal infections and eventually can form subphrenic abscesses Sub, uh, subphrenic abscesses can also be formed as complications of surgical procedure tumors and ulcers can cause ruptures of abdominal organs and as a complication subphrenic abscesses can be formed I would like to thank uh, Dr. Alex McLennan uh, radiologist from UK all x-rays uh, are courtesy of uh, him and the lecture is prepared for www.academyofprofessions.com these are the references thank you very much